Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and here we are. We are safe inside right now. The last video we did, of course, we were trying out this, uh, the shakaroni pizza. We were battling the clock. We were battling the storms that were rolling in. I survived. Maybe it was the pizza that protected me. I don't know. But we're here, we made it to another day, and we're trying out another release. This release, as a matter of fact, is quite easily the biggest release of 2020 by far. It's from Taco Bell. And Taco Bell, you know, it's interesting. One thing that I've been talking about a lot in some of the videos that I've been doing, you know, I try a lot of different items. There's lots of different concoctions and um, different creations and th things and things that probably shouldn't even be food that are, and you know how it is. A lot of things I've been saying is they've been simple lately. It's been simplistic. A lot of very simplistic items down to the basics. Taco Bell is being a rebel right now. They're saying, you know what? We heard about going to the basics, and we're throwing that in the trash bin right now. And when we're going we're to take the trash bin, we're going to throw the trash bin out the window into a dumpster. Okay? That's what they think is simplicity with this item. They're saying, no, we're going complicated. Go big or go home. I'm eating this at home right now. I got it delivered with um, the grub grade. And it, actually, or grub hub, not grub grade. That's I got it delivered, though, with Grub Grubhub. There we go. And uh, they did good. Did a good job delivering it. But I'm, I'm, I'm eating this at home. But it's still big anyway. You know, go big or go home. Grilled cheese burrito is what it is, as a matter of fact. You can get this for $2.99. It's a new item, a new burrito. And uh, the name is deceiving. That's the other thing. It's a curveball. They're going to trick you. Grilled cheese burrito. Grilled cheese. What is grilled cheese, right? You get the slab of cheese. You put it on the grill. Right, and then you just throw it on a on a on a soft tortilla, right? No. They actually have an item like that. It's actually called the cheesy roll up or something. It's the most misunderstood item on the entire menu. The poor thing is just, you know, sitting in the dark corner, neglected in the back all day. Um, but that's not what it is. The name is deceiving though. It makes you think it's very simple, oh, just grilled cheese, not at all. Uh, the grilled cheese burrito is new. They just released it, and here's what it has. So get ready. You're gonna be blown away by this. So Right now, if, if you have a seatbelt, I want you to buckle up, all right, strap in. If not, if you're watching this like at your desk or something, grab onto it like this and just hold on, okay? Because get ready. I'm just warning you right now because, look, when I researched this and when I read this, I was blown against the wall here, and I don't want that to happen to you. Here's what it's got. Nacho cheese sauce, seasoned rice, red strips, not those green strips. No, no, red strips, seasoned beef. Creamy chipotle sauce, sour cream, a three cheese blend, and then on top of that flour tortilla that it's all wrapped in, another three cheese blend for $2.99. Yeah, they're going all out. Let me tell you right now, they are going all out. So this is not the three cheese blend, all right? This is a wrapping paper that it's in, all right? This is this is more wrapping paper, all right? And you can see that's a anti-radiation shield that they wrap it in. And um, then this is just protective wrapping paper. So this is not the three cheese blend, okay? That's actually the six cheese blend, but it's not edible. So you got to watch out for that. Let's look at this thing, though. I don't know. Taco Bell, you know, they're hit or miss, but some things have the potential of being really good. Some have, you know, that potential of being really bad. Biggest lesson I've ever learned from Taco Bell, because I've tried a lot of their stuff, of course. They, they make a lot of new releases. You cannot judge a book by its cover. That's the thing with Taco Bell. Some things like, oh, it's going to be gross. You know, oh, you might look, you might think, oh, wow, it's going to actually be really good. Then you try it, and it's like the exact opposite. So I'm just going in here with an impartial attitude. You know, sometimes they have hits, sometimes they have misses. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling good, though. I don't know. I'm just feeling good today, you know? Feeling good. Feeling good physically. All psyched up. So uh, hopefully it'll, this will be a good one. All right. There's the three cheese blend on the top, okay? Let me show you this. So you see how this is, all right? There's that grilled cheese. That's the grilled cheese they're talking about right there. And then all the other stuff is inside of it. So we're going to try this out. Let me just do this for the, for the thing. You know how it is. 
something like that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but you can see what it looks like. So we're just going to try it out. We're going to taste it, and uh, I'm going to let you know what it tastes like exactly. So it is the grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. It's going in. Let's see how this is. By the way, they do market this. They say uh, this is their cheesiest, I don't know if they say cheesiest item or cheesiest burrito yet. It's obviously a very, very high emphasis on cheese. Some people wonder why I show it to the camera like this, because it's a cross section. You know, that's why you want to know what's in it. You can see it's got a little bit of everything. You can see there's the rice, the red stuff, um, the seasoned beef, the cheese mixed in there as well. One more bite. I'll tell you why I did that. Say cheese. All right. <clears throat> Here's what I wanted to do, and I was just doing very preliminarily, just, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking well, I wanted to do this for, for organizational purposes. This is one of those items that has so much stuff in it, right? So I wanted to just give a check mark on the whole list as to which ones that I can kind of taste which ones maybe I can. And pretty much all but one thing I really can uh, easily identify. Here's the thing, in short, because I know with these items that have a lot of different ingredients and a lot of different, you know, things to it, you know, I can go on and on and on, and I can just try to analyze it one thing at a time. And I might actually end up doing that, I don't know. <laughs> but in short, for those of you that just want, like, the, the lowdown, right, as they say right now, it's good. Wow, there's the review. It's good. But it, it, it is true. I have to say, I actually am pleasantly surprised by this. One experience that I've had with Taco Bell is that sometimes when they try to add so many things, it just, it's like they go over the top and it just doesn't work. Uh, what I was really concerned about here was that all the emphasis is of, of, you know, the sauces on this, it would end up being like this soggy mess or that things would just clash too much and it just wouldn't work, or there would be too much of this one thing, too little of another, and it just, you know, it would have an issue, because I've seen this happen before. But I think Taco Bell, they learned from their mistakes that, you know, they made in the past, but they owned up to it, they learned from them, and they said, okay, we've done this wrong in the past, but we're going to correct it this time around. And I think they did a good job with this. Um, the grilled cheese burrito is an item that I would say... I don't know if it would be for everyone, but if you like something that is cheesy, uh, then I think you will be a fan of this. All right. Here's what I like. There's a good amount of the uh, seasoned beef in this, number one, which is good. One problem that I've had with Taco Bell, with just so many different items, be that tacos or burritos or specialties, etc., is the fact that they really, you know, they put so little beef in it, despite what you see in the ad. Uh, what I like here, though, is that you really can see the beef. You can taste it. There's a good amount of it. I like that. Secondly, all the cheesiness, it works. You have that three cheese, that grilled cheese blend on the top, which really does, it tastes like a little bit of a, a grilled cheese, but you have the three cheese blend in the top. You have the three cheese blend inside the uh, burrito itself. Then you have that creamy nacho cheese sauce as well. And that cheesiness, all it just blends together and it just envelops it. You know, you get that cheesiness in every single bite. That's why I say for people that like cheese, like cheesy items, you're going to like this because you get a lot of it. 
Um, but even for me, I'm not, I'm not a kind of person that's, you know, overwhelmed with cheese. I'm not the kind, like, let's say I get a taco from Taco Bell. I don't say, you know, I want so much cheese on it that it's just, you know, running down my sleeves and everything. I don't, you know, a little bit of cheese is okay. But despite that, it's not overwhelming to me. It doesn't, like, you know, put me off or anything. Uh, another thing that I like, the sour cream. Just that little extra balance to it, because otherwise the cheese, and then you get the beef, and then you get the little bit of that crunch, you know, from the, the red strips as well. Um, but it all, it all can just kind of get a little monotonous, because they all just blend together. They work well. But the thing that I like about the sour cream is that it's its own little identifying thing, its own little identifying factor. It just has that sharpness. It really just, it's distinguishable, but it, it gives it that little bit of a kick, it brings it to that next level. It's just an interesting flavor, but man, it works with all this. Really like that sour cream. It's a really good touch. Um, the seasoned rice as well is is there. I think it just adds a little bit of texture. That's not one of the key ingredients. The one thing that I just can't taste as much of that I wish, like I could barely identify it, was the creamy chipotle sauce. That's the one thing that kind of got lost in there a little bit. I wish I could have tasted that chipotle sauce a little bit more. Um, so that's just the one thing that I think it was lacking in. Uh, the fact, again, that I just couldn't really make out too much of that chipotle sauce. But overall... Um, yeah, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. $2.99. It's a complete burrito. It's got a lot in it, but everything works out good. And I think it's just, it could be a good snack or a good meal. There's a lot to it, good portion size. And, um, especially for people who like the cheesy stuff, uh, definitely, definitely a buy. So I'm a fan of it. Again, I wish there was a little more of that Chipotle sauce, but overall, for so many ingredients, there are so many things that could have gone wrong. Taco Bell did a good job. I'm proud of you guys as a result. Uh, I'm going to give it uh, an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. If I had the Chipotle sauce, it would have been a little higher, but I'm, I'm happy with it. So we'll go out and give it a shot if you want. And that's all that I have for you. I'm your host of the Report of the Week. Today's review is for the grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. I am happy with it. Thank you. Be safe, be healthy, and do take care. This is the Report of the Week signing off.